family it's Kemi I wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial in doing Bantu knots in sister and short sister locks because I have short sister locks and uh, how to style it how to dress it up after you take the knot knots out so let's get into it take about I'm honestly just gathering maybe six just a small section okay guys small section so when you do have your section um put divide it in two evenly possibly divide in two evenly twist it I'm done twisting it. I'm going to twist the lock itself so that it can, so you see how like it forms its own, it keeps curling pretty much when you keep twisting it. Um, and then that's what I'll do is just wrap it around and twist it around the knot. And then once you get to the end, if you have loose hairs, that's how it will stay. Um, so just keep twisting it and there it is that's the knot now you can see that it's kind of long and protruding like it's like sticking out like that instead of it just being I'll show you so another thing I wanted to show so I gather two pieces and then twist them together a lot of people just grab them and then start twisting it like that there's nothing wrong with this. I just like grabbing it into different sections, whoops, and twisting it that way because it'll give a more tighter curl. And then go around. So what I mean by this sticking out and be, this being to the scalp, if you can see it so when I twist it I'm not twisting away ouch ouch I don't want that in there I'm not twisting away I'm twisting like my hand is on the scalp instead of away from the scalp and like that okay so I think this one was bigger. I gathered more locks in there than this one. What's the difference in between this sticking out and this just being a circular knot on your scalp is nothing. Like they'll both come out the same way. So yeah, I left this one out because it's short. It's a little baby. So I just left it out. I have, uh, when I did get my sister locks installed, I had no edges. My edge game was not strong and after a few months, my hair, I was getting edges and they, they were growing and I asked my consultant to lock them up. You know what I'm saying? Don't just like leave it hanging. So I wanted it um, locked up. I mean, this right here, that's never gonna get locked up. My baby hair, my adolescent hair, um, that's just gonna stay right there. But I'm just gonna leave this out because it's a little beady baby. So I'm gonna do more. I'm pretty much going to do the whole head, but I'm going to, okay, here we go.
Okay, so this is it. This took me about 30 minutes. If you're watching this and you have long locks, it'll probably take longer, but maybe not so if you didn't have so many, you know, 16 million um, knots on your head. But I can wear this whenever, you know? To, um, whoop. Hey, how you doing? Okay. So yeah, just wear this whenever, go out um in the house when yeah so um get some steam in my hair get some water in there too um so because it's best to do these types of styles especially curls or anything when your hair is wet i did it when it was dry no biggie and then to make sure it's completely dry when you take them out otherwise you'll cry a lot so making sure that your hair is completely dry when you take down the knots yeah yeah, yeah. so if you make them bigger they'll be wait a minute. if you make them bigger they'll be kind of more wavy not as curly unless you do it really tight if you do it looser there we go if you do it looser the waves will come out wavy like beach girl waves you know what i'm saying if you do them tighter they'll be you know tight shirley temple type of curls so making sure that you um do it to your liking you know you don't want to stress out your scalp or anything so if you want to loose go ahead and do it loose see you guys in the morning the next day morning family so now i'm going to take out the knots the best way i do it is to wiggle around the knot itself so that it can loosen up then untwist it the opposite direction of the way i originally twisted it and there you have a very curly tight bantu knot that i took out and that's what i'm going to do pretty much is take out all the knots first and then separate them individually Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take them out individually just by separating them with my fingers. And the best way to do it, uh, you don't want to just yank it out because you're, it can create knots and you have to cut them out and that's not good. So I just do it with my fingers. And you can see the back is, back is very scalpy, but the more you undo it with your fingers, the, um, the more you separate them individually, the less scalpy it will be. The first time I'm going to do is pretty much a quick flat twist. Um, sorry, it's really messy. It's so early, but do it really neat the best you can, not the way I did it. And then I just pinned it with a bobby pin or with a flower, whatever you may, you know, however you like it. And that's that. The next one I'm going to do is with a headband. Um, and pretty much I'm going to put the headband around the front, take out a section in the front, um, the bang section. Um, once I get that out, pretty much uh, scoop it above the headband and tuck it underneath the headband. So this, like a I Love Lucy type of look, this mini pompadour type of look, I don't know what you call it, but that's how I styled it with the headband. No edges. They're coming, Kimmy, don't worry. But that's that. You can see the back is very scalpy, but... Um, the next is the infamous faux hawk. So pretty much I just scoop one side, bobby pin it, scoop another side, bobby pin it, and there you have it. Curl the front Elvis style, and you have your faux hawk. Lastly, I'm going to do, well, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it helped you guys. You can be all the things you always wanted to be. Beautiful, sexy, easy as one, two, three. Just let your soul go. Just let it shine.